Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here and you don't know who I am, well, my name is Super Malbert. 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 And today in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC. But before I do that, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. You can also follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and on Twitter which I will put on the screen and I will also put a link to them in the description below. You can also join my Discord server. I will put the link to it in the description as well. All right, so I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this. One way is to connect your PS4 using the cable. So just plug one end of the cable to your PS4 and plug the other end to your PC, the same way that you would plug it into the PS4. And then just press the home button and then it should be ready to use. Now I'm going to show you how to connect it with Bluetooth. All right, so come down here to the search bar and type Bluetooth. You don't even have to type the whole thing. It just shows up and then click Bluetooth and other devices. And then you're going to want to turn Bluetooth on. And then what you need to do is press and hold the share button and the home button at the same time until the PS4 controller starts blinking. And as you can see, it's blinking. You probably can't see it properly, but it's blinking. And as soon as you see that, what you need to do is click this plus button, which is add Bluetooth or other device, and then click Bluetooth. And it should show up here, wireless controller. Click that and it should connect. And now it says your device is ready to go. And then just click done. And as you can see, uh, you probably can't see properly on camera, but if I turn off my light, you'll see that the PS4 controller is lit up. All right, so after you do that, go ahead and open up Steam and then click Steam on the top left corner over here and then go to Settings, Controller, General Controller Settings. And what you need to do is uncheck everything except for PlayStation configuration support. All right, so I think by default it would be Xbox or something. I don't remember what it was, but just uncheck everything except for the PlayStation configuration support. And then after you do that, just go ahead and close and press OK. All right, so the next thing you want to do is open up big picture mode. Now it's really important that you do this because there are some games that work without having to do this, but a lot of games you have to do this. So let's go ahead and open up big picture mode over here. And then now you can see I am navigating through this with my controller. So you can go ahead and go to your library, go down to games, and then just look for the game that you want to play with the controller and then open it up and you should be able to play it with the controller. All right guys, so if you wanna play a game that's not from Steam, don't worry, I'll show you what to do. So what you need to do is add that game to your Steam library, that's it. You can either add the game itself or you can add the launcher that you got the game from. So for example, Epic Games. So what you need to do is click add a game, add a non-Steam game, and just look for Epic Games. If you can't find it here, you can click Browse. Um, in my case, it's right here. But if you can't find it here, what you can do is uh, click File Explorer, this PC, go to the search bar and search for Epic Games. And right click, open file location, and click over here. Click this link over here and just copy this link. So right click copy you can close both of these if you want and just paste it here and open in my case i'm already here but if you can't find it here that's what you can do so let's go ahead and click epic games launcher and open and as you can see there's a check mark on epic games launcher what you need to do now is click add selected programs and that's it now you have epic games in your steam library so if you go to library you can see that Epic Games Launcher is here now. All right, so for this next part, make sure that you have Epic Games closed. Make sure you are not signed into Epic Games for this part. So let's go ahead and do what we did before and open up big picture mode. 
and then we can navigate using our controller. So let's go to library, go down to games and open up Epic Games Launcher, your shortcut and play. So then it's going to open up Epic Games. Uh, you can use your mouse and keyboard for this. No problem. Um, so let's go ahead and sign in and just sign in with your email and password. All right. So after you're signed in, let's go ahead and go to the library and just find the game that you want to play. Let's say, for example, Rocket League. Let's go ahead and click that. All right. So here we are. And as you can see, it says config loaded that means that the controller should be working for this game so let's press the start button and sometimes some games are just going to show uh xbox layout but honestly you'll get used to it just look at a picture of an xbox controller and just pretend that this is square x circle and triangle honestly you'll just get used to it so let's go ahead and play and let's just do training And as you can see, I am using my controller to control this car. And that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do to play games that you got from Epic Games on Steam. And uh, yeah, it's as easy as that, guys. All right, so if you want to play a game that's not downloaded from a launcher, let's say you downloaded it from the internet. It's pretty much the same process as the one you just did. So let's go ahead and click add a game at a non steam game and then if you can't find it here just click browse uh, if you can't find it here you can go ahead and uh, open up the file explorer go to this PC and go to search and search for the game let's say Genshin Impact so don't click it make sure you right click it and open file location and then copy this link copy you can close both of these and then just paste it here open and where is it let's say let's see Genshin Impact right here so go ahead and click open and now as you can see Genshin Impact has a check mark so let's go ahead and select add selected programs and then you can go to your library and scroll down and as you can see now it's in your library Genshin Impact is here now so let's go ahead and open up big picture mode once again and do the same thing navigate with your controller go to games and let's play some Genshin Impact your shortcut and play all right, so when I was in the main menu of this game, I had no choice but to use my mouse and keyboard. Uh, my controller wasn't working yet, but I'm still using a mouse and keyboard right now. But for some games, um, you have to manually change the controls from using your keyboard to using your controller. So let's go ahead and press escape. Go to settings, uh, controls, control type, keyboard. Uh, let's change it to controller. All right, so now... I can use my controller to navigate through everything and I can control this using my controller. So um, yeah, just letting you guys know, sometimes you have to change the settings and um, just make sure that the game that you're playing supports controller because there are some games that don't support controller. Not all games support controllers. And that is all that you have to do to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your PC. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video was helpful and if it was, Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. You can also follow me on Twitch, Instagram, and on Twitter, which I will put on the screen, and I will also put a link to them in the description below. And if you want to join my Discord server, I will put the link to it in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Later.